What's happening, Polish pals? I'm in my car again. You know what that means. We're gonna go searching for some Pokemon cards. But today, I wanna try to go find the new mystery packs that are showing up at Walgreens. Now, there's a couple Walgreens in my town. Let's go to the first one, see what they got. Okay, nothing on the toy aisle. Oh. They've still got the Sir Fetched figure. Let's go look around and check by the front. And there we go. They've got the two pack blisters, the theme decks, the mini portfolios, and the mystery packs. Now the mystery packs below are not the ones we want. We want these ones right here. Let's go open them up. All right, guys, I can't believe it, but we actually found some mystery packs. I went ahead and grabbed four of them. We're gonna open all of these up. I've also got some celebrations mini tins here that we're gonna open. And I was sent an amazing care package by some incredible supporters of the channel. Huge shout out to the Bowden family. Thank you guys so much for this little mystery box. We're gonna open all of it up today find out what's inside. Now, the channel's on the road to 10K, so if you haven't already, drop a like, drop a sub, and let's rip into these packs. All right, guys, let's start off with this mystery pack. Now, at the top here, it says includes one booster pack, one foil card, and one online code. Now, we know what they usually mean when they say a foil card is just a reverse hollow. Over here, it says look for chase packs seated one in five. Now, to me, a chase pack would be one of these that they list on the back, either a platinum pack, a heart gold, soul silver, or a black and white. But I think that chase pack to them means anything older than sword and shield. Now, I know we only have four of them, so it's maybe not the best test, but I wanted to leave some on the shelf. So let's rip into this first one and see what we got. Let's see if we can pull out the foil card first. All right, so it is a white code. Oh no, code card. Thought I had the foil card. Here we go. It is a Altaria reverse hollow from Champion's Path. All right, we'll set that aside. Here's that code one more time. Just make sure you get it. XY Trainer Kit, Pikachu, Libre, and Suicune. That's actually pretty cool. Shout out to whoever gets that. And the first pack, we got a celebr- <laughs> I almost said celebrations, it's, my brain is destroyed. We've got Evolutions Venusaur pack art on the first mystery pack. Let's open this up. Now, this was like I was saying, they probably consider this to be a chase pack, even though it is, bam, code for you, even though it's, you know, not really what we would consider a vintage pack, but I'll take an Evolutions for sure. Far-fetched, never get tired of seeing the old artwork. Misty's Determination, we got a Revive. Nidorino, it really takes me back. Look at the Pokey Shake, even for Evolutions. We've got Vulpix, Electabuzz, Magikarp. We've got a Ghastly, one of my favorite, and a Nitto King for our reverse hollow. Are you hiding a reprint Charizard? Oh. Oh, that was my fault that I did uh I did four from the back instead of three. My bad. I always forget. XY is three from the back. That was fun. Okay. Um let's do one of these celebration tins. We'll kind of randomly grab different stuff here until we get through all of the mystery packs. I can't believe on the first pack we pulled an Evolutions. Here's a Celebrations 25th anniversary Pikachu coin. You're gonna get a little piece of card artwork that will combine to make a huge piece of card artwork. That is very cool. One Darkness Blaze pack and two Celebrations inside of the mini tins. Grim Snarl, what do you got for us? Main card that you're looking to pull from Darkness Ablaze would be the Charizard V Max, but I would like the Rainbow Butterfree. Let's see, four to the front for sure for Sword and Shield. Fire Energy, here we go. Now I've been seeing a lot of my friends pull hollows out of green codes, which is pretty crazy. My buddy Nick Wager pulled the Charizard from a green code. Definitely go check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description for you. Tyranitar for our reverse and Muck non holo for our rare. And here is the problem with that. That was a white code with a non holo rare inside. So that seems to be the Darkness of Blaze errors that I've been getting. Let's see. 
if we can pull one of the classic collection cards from this. Still missing the Golden Mew, still missing the base set Charizard. Let's see if we can find one. Palkia, Reshiram, and we've got Grodon, and a Solgaleo Hollow. Very cool. Code for you. Bam. These celebrations packs just, I know it's four cards, they just go so fast. Here we go. Hopefully you guys are finding some celebrations out there at the time of recording this. I picked up the Pikachu VMAX figure. I'm going to be opening that up on next Wednesday show. Make sure you ring the little bell so you don't miss that one. Reshiram. We've got a Lugia followed by a Tapu Lele GX. One of the ones I needed from the classic collection. What's Tapu Lele hiding? A flying Pikachu V. Very cool. Let's drop these into a sleeve. Here's the code. Tapu Lele GX. I think the hollow pattern that they went with looks really cool on the GX cards in this set. Here we go. Bam. Tapu Lele. And we'll put the flying Pikachu V. Still haven't pulled a surfing Pikachu V. Maybe we can make one of those appear today. Let's see. Let's jump into another mystery pack. Here we go. Can we pull one of the Chase Vintage Packs? Now, in the last round of mystery packs that Walgreens did, the Chase uh, cards were packs in uh, French and other languages. So very curious to see if that happens. Here's a code for Crimson Invasion Clanging Thunder. Very cool. And our Whooper Reverse Hollow from Vivid Voltage. All right. Which mystery pack did we get? Oh, it's a chilling rain. Now, these mystery packs are $9 a piece. So if you really want, you know, Dragon Majesty or Evolutions or any of the what they're, you know, kind of considering uh, chase packs, there's code for you. Uh, I think you have better luck just buying that pack directly instead of trying to pull it from these mystery packs. We've got Energy, Old Cemetery, one of my favorite trainer cards. Got the Halloween spooky vibes on that old cemetery. Galarian Slowpoke, Crab Brawler, Snow Runt, Weedle. Clobopus for our reverse and a Metagross V Max. Very awesome. At least we got a hit out of that mystery chilling rain pack. We'll put the Metagross V Max into a sleeve and let's open up another Celebrations mini tin. Let's see what we can pull out of this one. Now they've got this weird little, like the little perforated tear in the plastic there. It's not really not really perforated enough. Oh, here we go. Is it going to unwind all the way? Let's see. I should have had the Sylveon pen out for this. There we go. Always afraid I'm going to hit my camera. Hey guys, I'm cutting in between this video to tell you about a new event that's going to happen on the channel. Now that the TCG game is on mobile, I want to help you guys build up your decks. So I'm going to call this Pulch's Power Up. Randomly throughout the videos from this video until I run out basically I'm gonna be dropping random code cards from X and Y all the way up to Sword and Shield to help you put a deck together Now I'm gonna black out the QR code and what the pack is so it can be a fun little mystery all the way up until when you open it All right, here's the first few codes There's one Now I'm also gonna be posting codes on my story on Instagram and randomly on Twitter so make sure you drop a follow over there so you don't miss it. All right, let's get back to this opening. If I try to open these a little too violently, here we go. It looks like another damaged uh, coin there. Got a little blemish on the surface. Another a little character cardboard image cut out. Two more celebrations, one more Darkness Ablaze. Turn it into VMAX pack artwork. Do you have that rainbow butterfree for us? There's the code, but the code might not matter what color it is. Let's see, can we get another Darkness Ablaze error? Lucky Leaf Energy. We've got the Glimwood Tangle, Dartrix, Lunatone, Squovit, Tauros, Pan Sage, Wishy Washy, Rookadee with some like damage on it. What is going on with Darkness Ablaze in this set? We've got a very off center Aridos for our reverse and a Rhyperior V, and it just happened reverse. There's a green code with a Rhyperior V inside. That's kind of crazy. I'm really curious what's going on with Darkness Ablaze and if Pokemon as a company is aware of how many Darkness Ablaze error packs 
have been going out lately. All right, let's get into this celebrations. Then we will open up the mystery packs that I received from the Bowden family. Huge, huge shout out again, guys. Cosmo, Palkia, and we've got a Blastoise. There we go. I never get tired of pulling the Blastoise. What's Blastoise hiding? A Solgaleo Hollow. All right, there is the code. We'll put this Blastoise into a sleeve. Incredible. The texture on these reprints is really Really, really cool. Here we go. One more pack from the mini tin. What do we got? All right. Grodon. Reshiram and a Kyogre. One chance still for the rain or for the shiny Mew. What do we got? Kyogre, a, a full art Pikachu. I never, never get tired of pulling the full art Pikachu. Hopefully Celebrations is around for a while and everyone gets to find as much of it as they're looking for. Drop this into a, oh, why was I dropping the Kyogre in a sleeve? What did I forget there? All right, here we go. Let's, um, you know what, let's save the last two mystery packs for the end and let's open this incredible care package sent in by the Bowden family. Here we go, they sent in Burning Shadows Evolutions Dollar Tree Pack. I almost really want to keep this one sealed because I've never found Evolutions at the Dollar Tree. Unified Minds Dollar Tree. We got another Celebrations Pack, an Evolving Skies Pack, and a K-19 Mini Tin. There's a chance for Evolutions inside of here. Let's start out with the Evolving Skies and we'll just kind of work our way through it. Here we go. Absolutely amazing guy i'm i'm so so thankful for these little care packages like this now i'll try to let's see uh why do i feel like i'm pulling the, the code out backwards it's kind of a bent code that's weird but the rest of the cards aren't bent we got four from the back now the Bowdens also included some cards that they would like me to sign and send back. And the only reason I'm sharing that is not like some kind of weird flex or anything like that. You guys know me. I'm just a regular dude collecting cards. But in a world of, you know, millions of followers and hundreds of millions of views and everything like that, I am just so, so grateful at the community that I was able to meet with my tiny, tiny little slice of the Internet. I never thought that I would gain supporters like this. I never thought that you guys would support me this much on this journey, and it really, really means the world to me. Let's see what's in this pack. We've got a Lucky Ice Pop, Scrafty, Snow Leaf Badge, Eevee, Cutifly, Hitmonchan Neo punching through the rain. I cannot wait for the Matrix 4 Lotat. We've got Sableye. Dino for our reverse, and a non holo Seismitoad for our rare. Look like there's a little kind of mark on the Dino too. What's going on with the quality control over at Pokemon? Let's open up this celebrations pack. Last chance here today to pull the missing, the Charizard reprint that I'm missing from here. But like I said, we'll be opening up that Pikachu VMAX figure in next Wednesday's video. Here we go, Palkia. Ho oh, now it's the second to last card that could have the classic collection in it. Ho oh, and we've got an imposter, Professor Oak. Very, very cool. What's Professor Oak hiding? Another full art Pikachu. That is so, so awesome. Here's the code for you. Let's drop the Pikachu into the sleeve. My goal is a full binder page of these full art Pikachus. I don't know why, I just love them so much. And it's pretty easy to pull, which I think is awesome. Prof Imposter Professor Oak going into a sleeve. Bam. All right. Something I have not opened in a really long time. Unified Minds Dollar Tree Pack. Let's do it. I haven't found Dollar Tree. Oh, that opened real nice. Haven't found Dollar Tree Packs in a while. But in Dollar Tree Packs, you're going to get this not code card, just a little like promotional card, basically. And the middle card out of the three is going to be your rare if you have one in it. So let's see how fitting is that. Lucky Leaf Energy. We've got a Cottony and a Faux Mantis. That was really awesome that it had the Lucky Leaf inside. Okay. Evolutions. 
Like I said, I've never seen these. I know it's just a Dollar Tree pack, but I have a, a sealed collection and I really wanted to throw this in there, but I got to know what's inside. Let's see. Open this up very, very carefully. Let's get this promo. What are they what are they giving us here? Learn to play Pokemon games, earn cool prizes. That sounds great. What do we have to do? Collect, battle, and trade. Oh, it's basically telling us to sign up for the TCG online game, which is now on mobile or is soon coming to mobile. Here we go. Full heal. We got the Vulpix and a Sandshrew right on. I love Evolutions cards. Never get tired of those. Here's something though that I really haven't opened in a while. Burning Shadows, chance for a rainbow rare Charizard GX in here. Now, that is one of the most notoriously hard cards to pull from this set. I know someone in my town, I think I tell this story all the time, opened seven booster boxes at retail, no Zard. Now I know there's some people out there that'll say, yeah, that's not enough, but seven booster boxes is kind of crazy. We got a hoot hoot. Tangela, Dupider, Inke, Raltz, Sneasel for our reverse, and a non hollow Meow Stick. Oh, like a really. Yo, it's an error. Wait, do all of these? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, my bad. I thought it was just a little too. I thought it was missing the bottom part there. Very cool uh, off center, kind of miscut Meow Stick. Right on. Okay. The K19 mini tins and that's what i'm talking about when i say k19 that little mark there usually you can tell what is in a mini tin by that number but i know that past k19 i want to say it was like b20 don't quote me exactly on that one i want to say those also had evolutions inside too let's see what is in this one if i can open it let's just tear this open there we go there we go. We got a really, really sweet Kyogre coin. Look at that. I love the blue on that. That's awesome. We've got another Venusaur Evolutions pack art. And we have got a Sword and Shield base Zacian pack art. And another cool little Sobble card. Let's put this to the side. All right. Sword and Shield base. The last time I opened a Sword and Shield base, I asked for a Rainbow Rare Marnie and I got one. So this time, let's ask for a full art Marnie. I think that's one of the last main cards that I'd want to pull from Sword and Shield. There's the code four to the front for Sword and Shield, and I'm gonna remember three to the front for evolutions. Here we go, Psychic Energy, Bisharp, Salazzle, Dugtrio, Clavopus, Gastly, Rukidi, We've got Sizzlipede, Snow, Lucky Egg for our reverse. What is this Lucky Egg gonna hatch into? Oh, it's a Raichu. Very cool artwork too on that Raichu. Always appreciate, appreciate a nice Pikachu or a Raichu pull. Here we go, Evolutions. One of my favorite sets to open. Let's get this code out of the way there. Bam, and three to the front for Evolutions. Here we go. Kakuna. Full heal. It, it really does bring back memories of opening base set as a kid. It's so cool. Voltorb. Diglett. We got the Caterpie. Poliwag. Pikachu. There we go with those yellow cheeks. And a reverse hollow Mewtwo. That is awesome. What is Mewtwo hiding? A non hollow Starmie. Very, very cool. Let's drop the reverse rare Mewtwo into a sleeve. Bam. So, so awesome. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for that gift. I, I'm all, I just, I'm always at a loss for words when I get to open stuff like that. That just is such a, such a blast to me. I'm rambling. Here we go. We got two more, two more mystery packs here. Let me know for sure in the comments if you guys went out and found any of these and if you opened them up and what packs you pulled out of them, what cards you pulled out of them. If you got a cool, uh, like, you know, extra card in it with, if the foil card they put in was cool. Ooh, what's this code going to be? Mysterious Powers Tin, Marshadow GX. Okay, right on. 
And we've got a Galarian Zigzagoon from Champion's Path. Maybe they know I've opened way too much Champion's Path. All right, what is this mystery pack going to be? Are you guys kidding? Yo, what? Black and white legendary treasures. Okay, so we uh, we hit one of the chases on the back, black and white, and it is in English. Um, okay, this is this is crazy. We're gonna set this right here for a moment. And we're gonna open up this one and see what's inside this. And then I think we're gonna open that black and white legendary treasures. Here we go. I think we got to. I think we got to. We have to know what was inside. All right, try to grab the codes out of here. Oh, all right, we got a Lipard from Champion's Path Reverse Hollow. For a second, I thought I needed this one for a master set. I actually don't think I do. For the code, we've got another Pikachu Libre and Suicune Trainer Kit. Very awesome. What is this last pack going to be? Stuck in there. Hey, all right. A darkness ablaze. All right. Let's build the hype for the legendary treasures. And let's open up this darkness ablaze. All right, Darkness Ablaze code card. That really doesn't matter what color it is because it technically could be anything. Although I have a feeling that this Darkness Ablaze would be from the regular print run of it. All right, Dartrix, Staravi, Starva, Staravia, Shenotic, Snoobal, Tauros, Ruka D, Galarian Mr. Mime, Electrike, a Aaron for the reverse and a non hollow Star Raptor. So it looks like that was a legit pack with the code that was in there. Bam. Okay. Moment of truth. Black and white legendary treasures. Let's do it. Okay. I can't believe it. Had to pause there for a second and just kind of collect myself. We hit one of the chase packs from the mystery packs. Black and white legendary treasures from 2013. This is so, so crazy. Looking at TCG player, these packs are going for about $65 to $70. Unreal. Hard to see in there, but it says 2013 on the bottom. Okay. We're going to open it. Let's do it. Black and white. Legendary treasures. Here we go. Ah, I can't believe it. We actually hit one of the mystery packs from We actually hit one of the chase packs from the mystery pack. I'm gonna try to open this Really really carefully here. I do want to save this wrapper because I'm weird like that. Oh, I'm kind of botching it Oh, I botched it botched pack Here we go uh, okay, let's see if I can just kind of slip the cards out from there. Un, unreal. This is terrible. Okay. Okay, I have to, I have to tear more of the pack. Oh no. Okay, there we go. I know it's just a pack, but definitely one that I want to save. Here we go. Whoosh. Now, I want to say the code card yeah, i'm no idea if this code card still works be my guess though go for it i want to say it's three from the back but i'm not totally totally sure so we're not going to card trick it we're just going to go through it the way it was packed in there all right first card tepig very cool we've got volpix swablu Natu. This card art is incredible. We've got a Genesect Hollow from the Genesect pack. How awesome is that with that old school Hollow pattern? There we go. I can't believe we hit a Hollow in it. 
what's what else is going to be in this pack tangrowth here let's set the genesect right over here tangrowth and we've got gardevoir very cool i want to say this is the radiant collection i could be totally wrong but how fitting is that to pull a card with that hollow foil pattern from 2013 in the same video that we open the 25th anniversary hollow pattern cards what's hiding behind Gar garbador very cool karelia that's awesome we've got the crushing hammer and an Altaria. Unbelievable. Let's drop these into a sleeve. Bam. We've got the Radiant Collection Gardevoir. I hope, I hope I'm right on that. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. And the Genesect Hollow from the Genesect pack. Absolutely incredible. Definitely let me know if you guys, what you guys pull from these mystery packs. I'm kind of in shock. I'm just gonna stare at all these cards for the rest of the day. But once again, huge shout out to the Bowden family for the amazing packs of cards that they sent me. And it's, as always, Pulch Pals, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. Next time, we're gonna be opening the Pikachu Vig figure collection. So hit that little bell so you don't miss it. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in these next videos.